One of the things I love about being a business owner is not just about the impact and transformation working with business owners in achieving their sales and marketing goals and realising some growth in their businesses. That's all great, that's what we're here to do as a business, this is what we're offering. But come about when you have an amazing team behind you, because one of the things that often comes up in conversations, Trisha and Azar and I are, are pretty much the face of the business and we are the ones that clients typically tend to see. They often say, I, I'm not sure how you get so much done. You can't possibly be giving me so much time because you've got other people also to see. You've got other clients. We're often working around the clock because of the international nature of some of our clients. And I, I normally laugh that off because yes, of course, time working around the clock is a time management skill. But it really does come about because the amazing team that we have behind us. And I'd like to think that the people that we are working with are all chosen for their amazing ability and talent that they have and us being then as the business owners being able to trust them to be doing the right job to the right level with the correct professionalism that we would expect which then makes it so much easier for us to be able to, to face our clients and have conversations because it means that we know our foundations are solid. The information we are giving our clients is real. The, the records are kept up to date. We know exactly what we are doing. And that comes from having decent workflows and processes in place. So that at the moment, I happen to be away from my business. I am away abroad on attending a conference, but the last two, two and a half days have been completely seamless. A quick check-in on our comms channel. We happen to use Slack, means that we can keep an eye on everything that's going on, both from a client and from our staff and everything is running and flowing smoothly. It brings me to another topic. Somebody in a particular mastermind forum that I am a part of was asking the question, what do you do when a client comes to you panicking, expecting you to work at eight o'clock at night? And I jokingly replied that a panic and an emergency on a, on a client side does not constitute a panic on my part. But in all seriousness, yes, of course, as a business owner, your clients sometimes will come to you and there will be situations which require you to work a little bit close to the wire, let's say. But that shouldn't really be happening because generally speaking, if I'd like to think, and when we are working with our clients, we are on it. We need to be proactive. That's what we are employed to do. We are there for our expertise to guide our clients through their marketing challenges so that they don't have the unexpected problems. We are ahead of the curve. We need to be. That's why we're employed. So by being proactive, having processes, having workflows and having a rock solid team, it means that there shouldn't be those unexpected things on a regular basis because you cannot have your elastic band, if you like, of your business stretched to the full all the time, working under stress and pressure all the time. It's just not sustainable. Yes, you can stretch that elastic band occasionally and take it to the limit, but you need to bring it back down and just make everything, just have that flex in there that things are flowing, there's a natural ebb and flow, and that you can then work better. So I think that's far, far more productive when you're working in an organized fashion rather than reacting, firefighting all the time and just reacting to the situation. So that would be my tip. You know, please look at your business as a business owner and see what are the things that are the weaknesses in your systems or your people, because people can only do their very best. If there is a gap in their skill set, you need to either upskill them or find an alternative to supplement who you already have. Doesn't mean get rid of them. Just find those weaknesses and, and make your team as strong as you possibly can. And that's going to help your business in the long run because it's going to allow you as the business owner to focus on what you really want to do within your business. I hope this video has helped you in some way. If it has, please do give it a like and we'd love it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any other questions or would like to find out more of how you could work with us at SF Digital, please do drop us a line and we'd love to hear from you.